Gugu Mbatara may have a royal connection, <laughs> being a member of the Order of the British Empire. That's pretty fancy. <laughs> she certainly is making a name for herself yeah. in Hollywood. Beginning this Friday, you guys are going to see her in the new psychological thriller, Surface. She plays Sophie, who's suffering from extreme memory loss and trying to piece together her old life. Take a look. Sophie. I'm sorry, do I know you? Yeah. You were at the restaurant. We need to talk. Who are you? Your yeah, husband's coming. Look, he's not who you think he is, okay? He's not telling you anything. What are you talking about? You ever think there's more to what happened on the boat that day? Oh, is there more? Oh, <laughs> so much <My>. more. No. <laughs> is there more that happened? We can tell what drew you to this thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's juicy. Yeah. It's really juicy. There's so many twists and turns, and um, yeah, it's really very compelling story. Are those your are those the types of pro uh, projects you're drawn to, where it's like you can't decide mm -hmm. who's good, who's bad, all like sort of the nuance. Yeah, I mean, the script, when I first read the first script of this, it was, it really kept me guessing. Mm. You know, it's got that noir, yeah. you know, sexy sort of love triangle Ooh. going on. Um, you know, we're in San Francisco, which is so iconic. Mm. And, um, and yeah, just the whole concept of, you know, losing your memory um, for me was just such an interesting challenge as an actor because, you, you know, the audience are on your side. They know as much <laughs> as your character does at the beginning, you know, which is really a fun place to start. Well, your character is riveting, but I, when I'm looking at you, I'm thinking, thinking that your, your life could have taken a whole different path if you had chosen. You enjoy painting, like painting is one of the loves mm. of your life. Did you feel like you had to make a choice when it came to the arts, or or how did you play that? Yeah, I, I loved painting growing up. I mean, I loved dance. I was, you know, I was always in after-school clubs and sort of had my hand in everything growing up. But painting, I really, really loved. But I found that it made me sort of quite introspective. Oh. And, and I loved sort of acting because it brought me out of myself more. But weirdly, in the pandemic, because we were all so isolated and I couldn't act, mm -hmm. I got back into painting again. So it's kind of funny, I think, you know, when you're a creative person, if one outlet is sort of yeah. stopped, you know, you spring a leak somewhere yeah. else, yeah. you know, so, so that's how I got back into it. Well, you do such beautiful yes. portraits. I was oh, looking this you. morning. Yeah. Um, oh, that's uh, my friend Chike, my oh, best friend. Wow. Yeah. We also saw one wow. of Desmond Tutu on your Instagram, which yes. was just gorgeous. And oh. I know that that one is particularly meaningful to you. Yeah, it is. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm half oh. South African. Oh, there it is. It's gorgeous. Um, mm. And I, I did that, you know, when he passed away, you know, over, over Christmas. Um, my dad uh, grew up in South Africa and Desmond Tutu actually taught him at school. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So he would always tell me, you know, they studied Charles Dickens in his South African high school. Oh, Stunning. Oh, thank you. Um, so that was a very personal one to me, you know, everything that he stood for and obviously my family's legacy and the legacy of that country is very special. Who was, who was the first person, Gugu, who looked at you and said, yeah, you have it, whatever that thing is, whether it's <laughs> acting or art, who believed? Was it a teacher, a family member? Oh, you know, I, I always sort of, um, I never had anybody sort of endow me with that. I suppose my mum always gave me confidence. I think oh. she... Uh, well, I was a very exuberant child, and so she, she always encouraged me to express myself. So, you know, I very much credit her with allowing me just to be me, really. Mm, I don't yes. think that anybody, you know, ever said, oh, you, you have it, but I think I was just very persistent and, <laughs> and keen and enthusiastic, and I think that can get stamped out of you when you're young, yes. you know, well, depending yeah. um, on, on who you're surrounded by. So mm -hmm. I feel like my parents really nurtured me. Mm. Um, we have one thing in common, and that is that we adore Oprah. <laughs> well, and by, like the whole world <laughs> yeah, has that say. in common. Yeah. 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 And I, she reached out to you. You formed a friendship after she saw you in, in Bell. Bell. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. The first film. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first film I ever did, you know, where I was the lead role, which was such a special yes. film to me, a British period piece. Yes. And um, and it was bizarre because I was actually doing Oprah's uh, meditation <laughs> series with Deepak Chopra at the time. And so I was listening to her voice every day. And then I, I had this, you know, missed call. Uh, and I didn't recognize the number, so I didn't answer. Yeah. And then when I listened to the voicemail, you know, Oprah was on the other end going, hello, it's Oprah. And, I, and it was so, <laughs> oh it was so similar to the meditation 
meditation series that I've been listening, I thought, oh my God, have I manifested this whole thing? Well, of course you have. Yes. Oprah <laughs> believes in she men. Does. That's what you do. That's you had a vision and wow. it came true. Exactly. Gugu, that's, it's what yeah. a pleasure it's it is so to visit with you. It's so fun to watch you soar. Congrats. It's really, really great. Yeah. Thank you. And you all can catch Surface. It's streaming on Apple TV Plus starting this Friday. 